Alrighty. Uh, didn't mean to stream an hour earlier, but then I decided to do the main sto story quests in uh, Final Fantasy XIV just a while ago, and figured I might as well not stream that. Uh, it's patch day on Final Fantasy XIV tonight. Uh, patch four point no. Well, what number is it again? Oh, where did I see that? 4.56. And it added some... Actually, is that the one? Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> Just double-checking. But, yeah. Uh... I just did the main scenario quests there, and now I'm about to do the Hildebrand quests, which I figured I'd stream those. We'll see how uh, funny those get. And then if there's time, I might do the, the Beast Tribe quests along with it. Okay, where's that thing? There's that thing. Let's get that noise back up. <laughs> I had it mute. Boom. Okay. Uh, we'll continue to get some uh, new equipment from doing the uh, main story quest. Well, not the hat. I've always had the hat. We got... The Scion Traveler's uh, set. This is the top. And there's uh, gloves, shoes, bottoms. And there's also a, a helmet, but I don't like the helmet. The helmet's too creepy. So, I believe the start of the quest is over here in Kugane, where there's already a crowd chilling. There's our girl Nashu. Seems to be busy scribbling some stuff done. The past is never past. All right, let's do this. Well, where in the world could he be? You talking about me? Oh, it's you. I don't suppose you've bumped into Inspector Hildebrand ro ro roaming about, have you? Making his inquiries? Nope. Well, ever since Shigure got detained by the Seki Sagumi, the Spectre's been busy looking into the affairs of Master Akebono, but to no avail. Ah, there he is. Never feel my faithful assistance. I have returned. Your unwavering loyalty to the pursuit of honor and justice and a hard-boiled egg is to be condemned, my good man. Commended, I mean. I might go so far as to say that in all my years as an inspector, I have known no fan more passionate than you. But speaking of fans, during the course of my investigation into the darker rumors concerning Master Akbono, I've received a mysterious missive I can but presume was penned by one of my many admirers. Ah, oh, there's that good old flex. The teeth sparkle is always important. Gosh, Inspector Hildebrand, even in the Far East, you got yourself a following. Can I see it? Certainly, Nashu. Hmm, that's interesting. It's definitely not written by a Hingen, but they don't seem to be too good with their Eorzean letters. Yeah, something, something of light. You who seeks the strongest of swords, the so Soboro Sukahiro. Know that I have laid claim to this most priceless treasure. If you would make it yours, meet me upon Kugane Ohashi for a duel to end all duels. Sincerely, you know who. 
Uh, something, something of light, you say? Why, he must be referring to none other than my humble self, the one and only gentleman of light. That said, I would rather much resolve this dispute without resorting to duels and the like. Wait here, my friends, while I go and attempt to reason with this misguided ruffian. And there he goes. I'm pretty sure they wrote warrior, not gentleman. Which probably means they're talking about Crick. What do you think, Inspector? No, he's already pissed off. <laughs> What do you mean he up and ran off? And why are you still standing here? You should hurry up and catch, try to catch him before he does something silly. All right. Ah, he's all the way over on the other side of Kagane. Avenarian Consultate. Ah, there we go. Just looking for the Aetherite. Stuck in the ground as usual. As you can see, I seem to have found myself in a pickle, and by pickle I mean the ground. Gunny Ohashi lies beyond this gate before I could pass through. I found myself suddenly accosted, then inverted, then embedded thusly by the dear but misguided Jim. The duel I must regrettably leave up to you. And now we have a trial to do. Kugane Ohashi. Well, at least it gives the tombstones of Genesis. And now this person's standing on top of me. How, how nice of him. Alrighty. Now we got a 19 minute wait. <clears throat> well, that's gonna be great. I guess that's the case we'll just we'll just run around Kugane until it eventually pops. Well actually now that I think about it, to kill that time we should probably do that uh probably do the Beast Tribe quest along with it. Oh, do, 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 do. Where do we start those now? Ah, okay, so we're in Kugane. Well, that's convenient. I'm gonna go ahead head over to the Ruby Bazaar. At least I think we do. Oh no, there it is, right there. Time to scurry. Yeah, here we go. This person starts the uh, Beast Tribe quest. The one that brings the three Beast Tribes together.
Hancock sent me to look for you. I'm glad I found you close by. Said he needs to meet with you, but wasn't clear on the details. It's over by the harbor, apparently. Over by Pier 2. Nope, that's what we already did. There's a pier... Ah. Ah, oh, that's just, uh... Just another sprint over here. Confess I knew you would. You are such an agreeable sort, always ready to help your friends and close acquaintances. Is that so? What are you getting at? <laughs> this request is a straightforward one. As I ha as it happens, I've been asked to escort a few members of the Alamegan resistance on a tour of Kugane. It seems that they are interested in seeing the fortifications that allowed Hingashi to survive an is as an isolationist. isolationist nation for so long. Okay, so apparently someone from the resistance. Second option sounded rude. <laughs> It'll be here any moment. Well, who could it be? Am I in feudal Japan? No, I'm in a, a town called Kuga or a city, I mean. A city called Kugane, which is fashioned in feudal Japan. But it's not Japan. It's not actual Japan. Thanks for tuning in, by the way, uh, Beef. Appreciate it. In my estimation, it should be disembarking just about now. And right I am. Ah, it's Alpa. Like the comments. Yeah, I made sure to turn on the chat box now. Because I'm hoping that if, pe if people see that pop up, then they might be more inclined to actually type in the chat, which I need. <laughs> or for me to get to affiliate, I need to see people actually come in and watch and actually talk. <laughs> A captain of the Vettel and her second in command. Yeah, Al Al Alpa is a beast tribe known as the Anata, which are an all female race of snakes. Now, that is an excellent proposal, Miss Alpa. <laughs> <laughs> and then my character's like, I didn't actually agree to this. <laughs> so Hancock's gonna go find a place for them to live in. Alpa wants to see the castle first. teleported right next to the castle. Well, that's convenient. Oh, still got 19 minutes on our trial wait. Oh, 
if you think Elpa gets you going, just wait, just wait until you see the rest of the Anada. There's tons of them. I can imagine use fortress too decorative. <laughs> Well, this guy's asking Elpa where she comes from. That tail is real. Are you a mermaid? Don't be absurd. I'm no mermaid. I'm an Anata. There's no need to be alarmed. Ah, so if you're a wet rest western race, then. Ah, he's one of the gate guards. Central keep that towers above us is a complex is of a complex and strategic make incorporating Myrad defense defensive elements. As you can see the most prominent part of the facade features regular openings from which to unleash a veritable hail of arrows. It's probably all these square blocks here. Or musket rounds. We call these Sama and they make it nigh on impossible for an enemy to approach from the front. Those unlucky souls who attempt to scale the walls are, are like to be met by tumbling boulders or boiling oil released by those manning the many bratises. If they manage to infiltrate the castle proper, he'll find it a trial to get out again for the pathways inside are maze-like by, by design. All that said, the castle has been taken before. Not too long ago, a swoopless sort named Kagayama and his underlings managed to sneak in during one of the Byogo's galas, taking advantage of the stream of people entering the castle. Which mainly goes to show that all the clever defenses in the world mean nothing if you fail to check who's coming through the front door. Most in intrusive tale. <laughs> There's Hancock again. Accommodations are ready. Recommend you stop for a soak in Kagane's famed hot springs. So now we're gonna go head head to the, the inn. My first hang in hot springs. I hope you'll join us. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> she really is like a fairy tale mermaid come to life. The other bathers are in for a surprise. <laughs> oh, a cue popped. Awesome. Now we get to do a trial. I just hope everyone actually clicks on the button, though. In the meantime, we'll get our way over to the next uh, point. Need the tank and the yeah. Just need one more tank. There we go. Time to do a trial from the Hildy quests. Far, far too long have I waited for this rematch. The Sobero Sukihet Dome brought us together, but it was fate that we ordained that we engage. Oh, well, that was too fast. <laughs> or too soon. This. Yeah. This is Yojimbo. We actually run, ran into this guy in, uh, in the Kugane Castle trial, and this is a rematch. there. I wonder if the fight will be any different. Oh, of course, this guy's doing the the new dance that we get from 
completing the Hilde Hildebrand quests. No, this ain't turn-based. It, yeah, it's a, it's action. It's an action RPG. B basically, think World of Warcraft, except it's prettier looking. Just gonna wait until everyone's all buffed up and ready. Out oh, there we go. Oh, lay down that property. we fought like men and ladies it is Gilgameshing time oh he's doing the same thing that Gilgamesh did oh okay Yojimbo was Gilgamesh all along <laughs> oh that's a surprise Oh, I took that. Oh, that's a stack. No, don't run away from me. Now we're all mini. Well, some of us are. There's two of them. Oh, man. This looks like the DPS check. Two people died, so I think we might actually fail this. No, 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 we're good. Six, sixty-seven percent. Boom. Oof. 
got oh a lot of people got iron chains on them. Well, that failed. Yeah, we're wiping this. Resurrection costs 3,600 MP, so as long as I got that mount, then we're good. But now we just wipe that because no one knows how to do the mechanics. Wizard. Uh, I never played Crystal Chronicles, and I don't really want to play Crystal Chronicles. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in, by the way, though. phoenix feathers in the game and those are limited to one per uh, inventory so there's that but no healers in certain other classes have resurrection abilities mostly healers that splitting again. I don't know what that is. 
Oh, the blue aura. Oh, that was uh, Shadow Flare. An ability that uh, summoners and scholars can use. It just puts an area, area of effect. And it's supposed to do damage to them. Oh, nice. We're, we're shorter that time. Oh. Another separate. Gotta watch out for that iron chain again. Oh, there's these awful things again. Here comes that chain again. All right. There. Still gonna take out another one person, but we managed to get everyone out, out everyone else out. Oh, he heals. Oh, no, nope. screwed that up. Those two others. One of them being the heal the healer that just got rezzed. Died. Oh, the healers need to pick up the pace. Oh, there we go. I just got rezzed. Drain. I'm down to 6% despite of everyone being dead.
Ah, there we go. That's completed. I yield. I yield. I throw myself upon your boundless mercy and beg forgiveness, please. Duty complete. Ah, uh, give the player con to one of the healers. Don't really care for barding, but okay. Yeah, I didn't get it anyway. Nice, and I got a calm. Ooh, where's that chat box? I think we might need to shrink that down a teensy bit. There we go. Alright, that's taken care of. So now we can actually go back to Hildebrand and talk to him. He located again. Favanarian consultate. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. There's my friend charging thunder. Get back here, you. Oh, she ran away. <laughs> Alright, let's see what the... Oh, you're going to bed? Okay. You have a good night, Beef. Thanks again for tuning in. Again, Hildy. Greg. Greg, I say you're a sight for sore eyes. However, did you come to be here in Kugane? Far East, for that matter. <laughs> the thing about that is. <laughs> I say, to think that Greg was masquerading as Jim the entire time. Indeed I was. After Crick bested me a second time, I quit Eorzea and embarked upon a journey to distant lands that I might hone my skills in preparation for our inevitable third bout. But when I saw you had mistread, misread my carefully written words and come in instead, I felt I had no choice but to remove you from the field forcibly. Mm. No, he grovels yet again. Now, now, Greg, there's no need for apologies between friends. Yet again, I must ask, though, how did you come to be here in Kagane as a ronin of much repute and remarkably thin waist? It seems far-fetched, even insulting to your intelligence, but there is a simple and highly satisfying explanation. He neglected to budget properly for food and drink, so he lost weight the harsh way. <laughs> Driven to a deathly hunger, I fell to my knees, and in that instant looked upon my, looked to my bosom friend, the painted rooster that had offered me my companionship in my darkest hour. Oh, he ate Enkidu. <clears throat> well, that's a shame. Rip in peace, Enkidu. And then he... Happened upon a stray dog, Daigoro. Oh, that's nice. 
Where the heck is Daigoro anyway? <laughs> He acquired Zamato, in fact, and began to build my reputation as Yojimbo. Naturally, the legend Ronin must dress to meet the expectations of the client, so I assembled an outfit that would satisfy those who requested my services. Kageyama was one such client. When I saw, when I saw that Crick and his comrades were to be my opponent, though, I quickly realized he had not paid me nearly enough. More fool me. Needless to say, the sight of the man who had bested me twice before was enough to rekindle the competitive spirit within me, and so when I heard tell of the Soboro Tsukahiro, I knew I must claim it in preparation for a battle. Truly a riveting tale, and tragic besides. <laughs> for though I fought with all my strength yet again, I was defeated by the great and powerful warrior of light. As I said to you on the bridge, no more tricks. I have taken my shot and fallen short, and I will cease my shenanigans and instead pledge my complete support to your endeavors. <laughs> You're a full-fledged assistant now. <clears throat> well, nice to see Gilgamesh is back. Uh, teleport back to there. Into the Rakuza district. Terrible news, everyone. Whatever is the matter, Nashu? It's Shigure. As punishment for helping the wolf, wolf burglar escape, he's been sentenced to de death by ritual suicide. Uh-oh. We have no time to spare, my friends. Presuming the wolf burglar is in the wind, our only recourse is to delve deeper into the hidden past of Master Akibono and uncover proof that the sword he claims was stolen was first stolen by he himself. Plot's getting thick now. Oh, where's the mender around here? Oh, right in front of me. <clears throat> How did Akebono earn his fortune, you ask? By peddling a variety of medicinal wares for all manner of purposes. From what I heard, they were, were all remarkably effective and popular. He still enjoys a reputation as a premier source of alchemical goods. His clientele spends in a visit what I earn in a month. Oof. So, Akebono d deals with drugs. Good drugs. Oh, there's another one of my friends there. <laughs> I should be glad to speak of Master Akibono to you, but solely with regards to his character as a businessman. Like all who have risen to mercantile prominence, he has been at the center of rumor and intrigue for every man who sings his praises there is another who would curse his name. None will deny the efficacy of his medicines, efficiency, <laughs> which is to be expected given that he utilizes the finest readings from the birthplace of alchemy, Raz at Han. His satisfied customers are beyond counting. On the other hand, none can deny the exorbitant provinces he has reaped by tightly controlling the supply of Hanish ingredients. Absent competition, he is free to dictate prices as he sees fit. 
Unfortunately, this has led many in desperate need of his miraculous medicines to spend their entire life savings or seek assistance from disreputable money lenders. His practices are ultimately wholly within the confines of the law, so again, as a businessman, he is to be lauded for success, but I will say nothing about his morals or ethics, or lack thereof. So he's an unethical businessman of some sort? That's what I'm getting at. I should hide that chat at some point. Execution is going to be carried out any moment now. If we must take a shortcut to avert a grave miscarriage of justice, then so be it. Time for cutscenes. She got a eh? honor, brothers. I will not beg for your forgiveness, only pray that this humble offering of my life that I might absolve the Seki Sagumi of the shame I have brought upon it through my misdeeds. What is the meaning of this? That man is an imposter. Seize him. Seize him at once. <laughs> now it's a wild goose chase. <laughs> Shigure's like, uh. Look at him go. Haha, <laughs> safety from the trees. Now's your chance to escape, Shigure. I will do no such thing. I may have lost what little honor was mine life, but at least I can reclaim it in death. Your honor is yet yours, samurai. Ah, the wolf bandit. Or burglar, I mean. You need not cut your belly open this day, Shigure, for you have the Soboro Sukihiro and the infamous wolf burglar besides. But, but why? We had a deal, remember? Temporary release, and I'm a wolf of my word. It's because he wanted to use the sword for something else.
Uh, this is indeed the Sobero Sukihiro. Very well, escort the wolf burglar back to the cell and send a runner to Masca Master Akibono's estate at once. Well, this is a twist. We're far from finished, Shigure. The wolf burglar may be in custody once more, but you must still answer for your reckless actions. Therefore, after further deliberation, I've decided that you will conduct a formal investigation into the rumors surrounding Master Akibono and... That will not be necessary. Indeed, with the return of the Wolf Burglar, I believe we can consider this tiresome affair resolved. Master Kumode. He must run the Seki Sagumi. Oh no, no, he's that Master Akibono's guest from earlier, the one that Geico threw into the wall. Oh, surely you must be mistaken. I had no recollection of every such event, or of you for that matter. Well, the impact must have been that hard. Anyway, as I said before, I believe there is no need for any further investigation. Should you deem otherwise, you're free to proceed. However, such wasteful expeditions may force us to reconsider the resources. Ugh. Rest assured, Master Kumode, that we value your counsel deeply and should be glad to, def to defer to your judgment. Well, the matter is closed. <laughs> Yes, that will be all. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good at all. His eyes aren't supposed to flash like that. Verily, I, Hildebrand, ancient of Quiry Spectre, Spordner, have once more done the impossible and saved a man from certain death. I should understand he still has questions for the wolf, wolf burglar. Yeah, we're far from done. There's too much. There's too many questions. To need answering. Oh, I could probably hide that uh, chat box now. <laughs> Get ready for the best emote in this game. <laughs> There's Shigure again. If you had arrived when you had, I would not be standing before you now. You will forgive me for dispensing with further expressions of gratitude, for I had just returned from the Gal, where I spoke with the Wolf Burglar, who shared with me some rather troubling information. Do not keep us in suspense, my good man. What is it? Not long after we delivered the Wolf Burglar into the custody of the Sekisugumi, Master Akibono stormed into the gal and began berating the turnkey, demanding that they return the stolen contents from his safe. You may recall that we spoke with Master Akibono concerning this theft shortly after we first met. He was rather secretive regarding said contents at the time, but the Wolf Burglar said it was an unmarked satchel filled with a white powder. 
given Master, Ag Master Akabono's reputation as a purveyor of medicines, our chivalrous thief resolved to steal it for the benefit of the poor and needy, as is his wont. However, since there was nothing to identify what manner of medicine it was, the wolf burglar decided to hold on to it for safekeeping. Plainly, however, it was no ordinary medicine, for why else would Master Akibono clamor for it so? My keen inspector senses tingling. Where is the satchel now? In the possession of the men and women of the waterways. They will not admit this, however, unless we give them the proper password. As above, so below. Understood. Let us hasten to their den of inquiry. That guy just jumped. <laughs> Here, there we go. Gotta go into this sewer over here. Good with dark places, too easy to trip and bump your noggin. Another fine morning in the waterways. You'd lot turn up again sooner or later. Didn't expect you bringing another along another unfamiliar face, though. No matter. I like the cut of his jib. So what are you after this time? A certain satchel containing a certain white power, which once belonged to a certain merchant. The wolf burglar told me you have it. If he did, then he would have told you the magic words, too. Soar high above and never go low. <clears throat> no, that's not the fucking words. There's no time for fun and games, Inspector. <laughs> get low, get low, let low, low. I will go wherever the wild rose blooms. So that was much earlier. Alright, that's it. Nothing personal, but we gotta be careful. Damn if I know what it is, but my gut tells me it's nothing no honest man would keep in a lost locked safe. That said, a suspicious powder is far from far from invertible proof of criminal misdeeds. We need to first determine what it is. Any ideas how to do so? We could just smoke it. <laughs> okay, I gotta head over to the Thavanarian Th Consulate. You can't simply go and bang on the gates of a foreign consulate and expect to... Oh, never mind.
Oh, it's Papa Godbert. What brings you to this far side of the world? A complex series of events too exhausting to detail. Of greater importance is what brings us to the consulate. See, we must needs enlist the assistance of a Hanish alchemist or one with encyclopedic knowledge of Hanish reagents. How fortunate then should we chance to meet? I am a representative of the, of the Sajatra concern of Rad at Han, should you not know the name. Cool, so we got our expert. <laughs> Perhaps a change of venue is in order. Reading of Hanish origin, but not one intended for medicinal purposes. Dangerous purposes, rather, and for this reason its sale is forbidden. In the hands of a master alchemist, it could be used to create Dew Prism. Sorry, Dew Prism? A most powerful drug. A mere thimbleful is enough to befuddle the senses and render even the most strong willed subjects susceptible to any or all commands. You may be assured that this is not an exaggeration. Resistance is, most regrettably, quite futile. Undetectable it is, save for the occasional glimmer in the eyes. A changing of the color, fleeting and impossible. Why, the Kami, I have seen such a glimmer before. Oh, are you sure it was not a trick of the light? I saw it too. Master Kumode is being manipulated. Yeah, that's what those funny, glowy eyes was. Hildebrand was just about to voice the same conclusion. Well, if what you say is true, then a most terrible crime has been committed. Evidence must be gathered, and those responsible must be punished. It makes sense now. Why else would the chief coin counter of the Seki Sagumi press so strongly to end an investigation into a modest merchant? Because he drugged him during their meeting. At last, we have motive, means, and opportunity. district. Wolf burglar. What's he doing out of his cell? Hmm. 
This is no small undertaking, but I knew I need all the help I can get. Now that we're all on the same page, let's be on our way. The bastard's bound for the Isle of Becco. Off to meet with a silent partner, I'm told. Capital. If we hurry, perhaps we can beat Akibono to the punch. <laughs> he may be an idiot, but he's got the right idea. There's no time to waste. I get to use uh, mounts now. Someone's got the Ojimbo barding. There's Akebono. Daff, look closer. As is yours, Master Akibono, but the matter of hmm, the due prism. It has served you well, met your expectations, I trust. Exceed them, I should say. Never in my wildest dreams I could imagine that a drug could be so powerful, so effective. Tasteless, odorless, colorless, the chief counting counter had no idea his drink had been compromised. He has already proven to be a most useful tool in manipulating the Seki Sagumi. More than worth the regular upkeep to keep him in my thrall. Oh. Well, comes pairing a gift courtesy of Manderville and Manderville. Their influence extends far beyond the borders of Aldernard, but all their wealth pales in comparison to what I'm about to present to you now. As we discussed, Lord Galbert, you will serve Master Akibono faithfully and without question, will you not? But, but of course. Uh-oh. Elder Brain ain't gonna take this standing up or sitting down. Wait, you fool, now is not the time. These men are villains. You are being deceived. Inspector arrives as I knew he would. Doubtless your friends are cowering and hiding. Just as well, in one fell swoop, we shall bring an end to this farce. I call upon Aorza's most fearsome of goldsmiths. I call upon the hammer. Go forth and lay waste these interlopers. Uh-oh. Uh, 
definitely infected. Oh dear. Goes those three. Finish them all. Finish everyone. Yeah, he finished them all right. Well, that's a star. If it falls to you, Hildebrand, Heliodor, Heliodor, Maximilian, Manderville. Comes the suplex. Forgive me, Father, but you know not what you do. You're a Manderville, Manderville, Manderville. Ah, oh, now we're now we're having flashbacks. There's that suplex. Those were good times. I don't remember that part, though. I do remember that, though. Sort of. Oh, let's screenshot that. Oh, the reversal. Abort, Father, abort. Spare me your reverse Manderville dive bomb. I bet it's in the middle of the group. Yep, there he goes. Phew, and I'm spent. Hmm, what happened here? This is all very embarrassing, very embarrassing indeed. A thousand pardons to you all for my rather excessive display of martial prowess. Oh, and I should go without saying, but Manderville, Manderville will not will be severing all ties with the Sajira concern. Rejoice, my friend, for we have reclaimed the Sobero Sukahiro once more. How fortunate that Dastly Akimono would be so loath to set it aside that we'd rather bring it to him with a secret rendezvous. <laughs> yeah. Lay it at my father's grave.
All right then, I suppose you're wanting me to get back to the gal. Regardless of the reasons, a crime is a crime and mine are many. An upstanding second Sugumi like yourself must adhere to a code, no? Indeed I must, which is why it will be with much regret that I inform my superiors that I have neither seen neither hide or hair of the notorious wolf burglar. Huh? You sure about this? Not if you ask me again. Go to your father. Shigure has right of it. You should be the one to bring your father's spirit the comfort and closure it deserves. You're mad, each and every one of you, even the samurai. And I love you all the more for it. Thank you. To hold, a f hold fast a righteous creed, yet recognize when too rigid an adherence would result in greater injustice. Truly, I'm privileged to have witnessed this display of nuanced nobility. With that, like the burglar, I might find a me measure of peace in mourning my own dearly departed. Oh, Enkidu, if only uh, you knew how sorry I am. Hey, look who's back. <laughs> Enkidu, but how? What was it that I ate that fateful day? Think you this the end? I think not. Oh. Pokemon just ate some that do stuff. You long to me now, Ronan. Now spirit me away from this place. Far, far away. Greg, no, cease your egress. We're on the rift that lies between to wondrous worlds yet unseen. Ooh, oh. Wait, no, how dare you tw <laughs> Oh, and that's how Hildebrand gets taken off. They're probably teleporting to the first. Goes Nashu. Oh no, there he goes, my beloved son. Not content to fly off into the sky as before, this time he likes to take his leave by vanishing into the earth. Brief though our time was together, I cannot deny how much he has grown, both as an inspector extraordinaire and a Manderville man besides. I say, a father could not be more proud. <laughs> You not be more concerned about the fact that he just teleported to an entirely different plane of existence? <laughs> I would. Now we go meet back up with Shigure and Kagane, and that probably ends the Hildebrand quests.
Oh, that's nice. ought to do something, conduct a search, or... Oh, so this is a regular occurrence, is it? Fair enough. If you're certain that he'll turn up eventually, none worse for wear, I shall take your word for it and strike all the worry from my mind. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably see him, uh... See him probably after the main event, main uh, scenario quest in uh, Shadowbringers. Paying respects to his father, of course. <laughs> are done until Shadowbringers drops at least we've learned the Mandeville Mambo This is nice. Oh, there's Tigoro. <laughs> Gilgamesh is doing the. Yeah, there we go. Brand will return? I'm sure he will. Good night, sweet Hildy. Alright, let's check out that emoticon. Jazz hands. Beautiful. All right. What time is it? Eh, we got some time. Actually, we don't. I'm probably gonna wrap it up here because it is getting a little, a little late for me. Ugh. What I am going to do, those can I'll complete this one uh, Beast Tribe quest first, and then we'll, then I'll end it for the night.
There's Elpa. Hmm. <laughs> Wish we could show it to Gale, so it might be safer not to. Stupid, sexy Rodian, Rodigan. Because <laughs> you position the camera just so, it looks like he's wearing nothing at all. get to change our uh, gear. Oh, do I have anything appropriate? Yeah, this. <clears throat> no, I actually don't have anything appropriate. I'd, ha I'd have to make something up. This needs to have that and the wrists. There. Yeah, I don't think I have anything appropriate. many things to re-equip. Who goes the burb? Look there, is that a mermaid? The tail, those scales, unmistakably a mermaid. I can't believe they've been real this whole time. Right here in our hot springs. This is ridiculous. I'm clearly no fish. I suppose people who've never seen Ananata just don't know what to, else to make of you. <laughs> Ooh, that's a suspicious looking fellow. Did someone say mermaid? That's a familiar looking eye. We didn't need to see a shot of that. What's this? A seeker? And one with most unfortunate features at that. Not as fortunate as your manners. I would say something about the creepy mask, but I reckon the face beneath is even worse. As a jab. He appeared in the last uh, combo beast tribe quest. Am I meant to believe that you don't recognize me? As a jab. You certainly have the look of an Eorzean. Perhaps my legacy has not yet reached what our drab little corner of the realm you call home. 
mistook serpent for fish. Not that it matters for my purposes, of course. I can hardly believe that I came upon a convincing substitute so soon. I remember you. That's enough of your leering. What are you doing? Get your hands off me! Oh, he's gone in Yoint Elpa. I thought only to make a bit of coin on my travels through this foreign land, but it seems the Beastmen and I are simply meant to be. In any case, I'll be helping myself to this one. Oh, Alpa's gone kidnapped. What is he anyway? I can't believe he managed to snatch Alpa for right under us. search for witnesses. I can see how this works out. We eventually uh, go see the other two beast tribes. They con they join up with us and then we rescue Alpa. She's still in her bathing suit. <laughs> oh, where's my sprint? Too many people standing around doing that, uh, that new Hildebrand emote. this one. <clears throat> and someone used a bomb on him. Poor guy. This is not what I was expecting in a variety of ways. dead. In that case, we'll have to get creative, and I have just the thing. Well, he does anyhow. <clears throat> just as I thought, he never leaves home with his mark... whatever number that is, grenades. I assume, I assume he just took the time to remove some of the powder after his prior experiences, so they should be safe enough. enough. Lob one in his general direction, would you? Stand back a bit, just in case. <clears throat> alive. Well, worse for wear now. It was such a nice dream, too. <laughs> Her attire is rather less present than usual. Oh, now that you mentioned, I did forget to put my uniform back on, didn't I? 
<laughs> Oops. Yeah, I'm listening. I'm definitely making a normal amount of eye contact. <laughs> ah, he's seen the culprit. As it happens, I stowed away on your ship to get here, and that went perfectly smoothly, thank you very much, until you two disembarked and ran off, leaving me without a clue where to go. As I was wandering around aimlessly as one does, I saw the masked man with Elpa in tow. I called out to them and he hit me. Not so much as a warning. Before I lost, fully lost consciousness, however, I witnessed some vital. He and Elpa were board boarding a small boat. I'm positive they, went at, they were headed out to sea. There's that quest complete. And yeah, it's now starting to get a little late for me, so I think I'll end the stream here. Uh, tomorrow, I'll probably pick oh, maybe some Blaster Master Zero 2, I think. That or something, something else on the PC, maybe. We'll see. So until then, uh, thank you for watching, and you have a good night.